I find these radix cases so interesting. A radix is an extra distal root on a molar. And here in two dimensions, you can't see that at all. There's literally no evidence of it. You can see a large lesion, previous treatment. If you look carefully, you can see that there's a separated instrument in the apical half of the mesial root. It was in the mesiolingual. But ultimately here, I can't tell that there's an extra distal root. You have to really have the 3D imaging in order to really visualize and diagnose this. And there you are. You can see on the right side, there's no root filling. That is the radix. You can see it. It's on the lingual side. That's what the entomolaris represents. And the lesion is right around the apex of that radix. And you can see cortical perforation of the plate on the lingual side. Ultimately, I was able to retreat, distobuckle, located the radix, distolingual, and I retreated the mesiobuckle. I left the mesiolingual as is. I did not attempt to remove that file segment. Mesiobuckle, mesiolingual joined, and the mesiobuckle was the main canal. So I opted to leave that in place. Obviously, the crown needs a dressing. Now you can take a look in the coronal view of the cone beam. You can see two portals of exit on the radix. You can see it's all centered. That whole lesion is centered around that root. And ultimately, I'm hoping for great healing here. So radix entomolaris, an extra distolingual root. You have to be wary of these and use 3D to diagnose. Thank you.